All right, guys, I want to show you real quick what we're doing. Um, here's what I've been sending you guys lists of. It's based off of this uh, GPA, SATs, ACTs. Right here, I'm only going to use the SAT scores. Um, you know, I'll even make them uh, a little less so you know where you're at here. Um, you can kind of gauge 500s across the board. Uh, let's just do a D2 school. And if you guys notice, hope 100. Excuse my voice, I've been a little sick. Okay, most of y'all have gotten more blues than anything else. Blues are top 25%, green are top 50%, and yellow is top 75%. White's a different criteria altogether. Like, you know, this is Academy of Art, stuff like that. So, what I'm doing for you guys and everybody, I, I've kind of lowered these so that everybody can kind of see the differences. But most everybody's qualifying with a list that you're in the top 25% of. Um, that is really what we're trying to do because we want you to understand how to actually fish instead of us do it for you. So I'm clicking on these details and the list that everybody's been sending me. Um, the info you've been sending me, rather, and the list that I'm creating for you looks like this, okay? So let's just say we're interested in Holy Names University. We already know we're in the top 25% qualified academically. That makes you really attractive to this school, okay? Um, obviously, they don't have to spend their money on you uh, athletically. But if you wanted to use this properly, we go in here and start looking at their academics. What, what programs do they offer? You know, if you're interested in a kinesiology degree, excuse me, sorry, and they don't happen to have that, and then, then why are you really going after that school, okay? And that's what we're trying to learn, and that's what we're trying to teach you all is to learn how to look this stuff up. Go ahead and go take a look at, you know, a school's homepage. You're getting all this stuff from us, so. Um, you might as well use it, right? So we're looking at the softball page. You can look at things like the roster and see where they're at. I mean, do they have, you know, are they predominantly freshmen, senior, juniors? Where are they? You know, you guys are all sophomores. These freshmen are going to be juniors by the time you get there. You just keep an eye out on this stuff. And, you know, other little things, too. You can check out their schedule. Let's go check out a softball schedule. And they don't even have theirs posted, but it's fall, so that makes sense. But you guys get the gist of what this is. Um, it's, it's a way for you to start researching and really learn about a school before you start sending emails to them, okay? And then um, when you do send, make sure you have a good profile. I use this kid a lot. Uh, we helped her out. She just got a uh, full ride to Florida International. And if you notice, she's got all of her info on here. You don't have to use this profile, but she's got a lot of social media tied to it. Gives a better look of who the kid actually is. Um, she can put her schedule in here, all that kind of stuff. And that's what you want to send to a coach is a good profile and include some video and all that fun stuff as well. But I just wanted you guys to see this and hear this. Um, keep in mind, again, you're, you're getting a list of schools that you're – already academically qualified for so you may go okay well <coughs> excuse me you may go okay well i don't this isn't a school i really want to go to okay we we understand that but what we're really trying to do for you guys is get a list of schools and attention going so that when your dream schools do come out to see you or you do get to make a contact with them they are going to ask if they're interested in you they don't hide it and you know it's not a big secret they're not playing a game if they're interested in you, they'll you'll know. They'll ask you how is uh, how is your recruiting going? Who who have you been talking to? And it's going to be nice to be able to say you actually have things going on with other schools because if other schools are interested, then obviously more schools get interested. That's really what we're doing here. So this is just one aspect of the whole recruiting thing, but researching your schools is very important. If you guys notice, I can get you more lists if you need them, but there's your in-state, out-of-state tuitions, um, 
you know, board fees, all kinds of stuff. Now, how many freshmen uh, came in last year? 209 a female, 299 a male. And then your percentiles here. What, what does it really take to get into this school? Well, to be into the top for ACT, you just need the 22 and 23s in math and um, English. You notice reading and math, nobody cares anymore about writing, so it's not even in their percentile. And this is like, this is our proprietary software. It's not, I don't, nobody else has this. It's not something that, you know, you guys can go and get. So I, I highly encourage you to take advantage of using these lists because we put years into developing the software. So um, it's, it's really good and it, it could be a big help and, you know, why wouldn't you want to use it? It wouldn't, doesn't make sense to me, but. Um, so you look at these schools, you look at the numbers. These are the lists of the people that have already sent in their stuff. They're getting these lists already. So I just wanted to make this video kind of explain how we expect you to use it. Again, go to the links here. There are, they're just hyperlinks right to the stuff. Do your research. Check out rosters. Check out schedules. Where do they play? A team from the snow. Do they play at home a lot? Sometimes they don't. North Dakota, right? They, it snows there a lot. They, they only have like three home games. So you're going, I don't want to play in the cold. I don't want to play in the snow. Okay, well, they don't. So do your research and, and really understand the schools because if they have your degree and they have everything you're interested in, it, it isn't a bad idea to have a school in your back pocket that, you know, is willing to offer you 80% or higher because a lot of people don't understand, but 80% is a full ride. In most cases, 85%, you're, you're getting a few hundred dollars back every month to spend. So, you know, we'll, we'll help you understand all that stuff, but I just want you guys to understand what to do, ladies, because it's very important that you go through this stuff for every school you're interested in and take a look at it. The list I'm sending you up, 20, 30, 20, maybe up to 20 schools. You know, it takes a long time to go through all that and do all that homework, but you got to do it because nobody else is going to do it for you. Mom and dad might be helping you, which they really shouldn't, because it's this is for you to do, um, but you know you want to do your due diligence and go find out what programs they offer, what what degrees they have, what are the graduation requirements at that school for a BA, a BS. Do your homework, do the research, find out about schools you want to go to, and enjoy it. Have fun with it. It's really fun. It's really exciting. But again, that's that's why I'm sending you guys this list. So um, I hope that didn't bore you too much. I'm gonna close this down and feel free to hit me up if you have questions. Bye.